want to learn Figma in five minutes and this video is for you. So this is a update video to my last video that I did in 2023. A lot of the tools have moved around a bit so I thought a nice refresher is what we need. To see right now when you first land in Figma this is what you're going to see a blank page. Tools are now across the bottom and on the left hand side we've got pages and assets and on the right hand side we've got other tools such as variables, styles, export, prototype, play and so on. Now the first thing you want to do is add a frame so that is by either pressing A on the keyboard or F on the keyboard. You do have the ability to obviously draw out your own frame. You do have the option down the side here that shows you phones, tablet, desktop and so on. So the first thing we're going to do is choose a frame. So let's go with an iPhone Maxed Pro and as you can see a frame has been added. Now we can rename this frame so we're going to call this frame one and as you can see on the left hand side here it is updated. We can also rename these pages as well or add a new page. So if you wanted to add a new page uh, you could page one, page two, and you can just split out your design files that way. It's just easier to organization instead of having an overall file with everything in one place. So once we have got a frame together, like I said, across the bottom here are your tools. Now you can obviously add a frame this way as well if you wanted to. You can add shapes. So you got rectangle, line, circle. You can also draw with a pen tool or the pencil tool. You have a type tool, comment, and this is also actions. We'll do an entire video on that another time. And then you can also jump between draw, design and dev mode. But we're just going to concentrate on the design side right now. So like I said, you've added in a frame. And the next thing you want to do, maybe create a button. Yes, like I said before, you can actually do it with a row. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it with another frame. We'll add in a frame. We can now change the color to that frame. Let's pick a, a nice green color. And we also want to add some text. So press T and we want to sign up. You can move this into here. And then you want to add in auto layout so the way you want to do this is over here and this has updated so i'll do a whole new refresher video on this if you want to get an introduction to auto layout there's a link in the description below where you can see a previous video about that but i will be doing an updated video about this soon and once that's updated there will be a card above so i'm going to turn on auto layout now what this does is giving it a big set of paddings let's move that down to 16 and we move the top of it to 8 we can also round off the corner radius here so we just want to do that update a little bit more. We're going to rename this and call it button and then we can make that bold and then maybe let's change the color to white. That may not be accessible but we're going to go for it right for now. Again because we've made this in a frame it's now technically responsive. You have a button that you can plop onto a frame. There you go. So we are going to copy this frame over by pressing shift option on your keyboard and then you got this little arrow popping up and you can drag it across and then we got a and then we got a second frame. So let's say we want to change the color of this button. We can go ahead and do that. I'm now going to change this to a blue color. And now we have two buttons on two different frames. Now the next thing we want to take a look at is prototyping. In the top right corner here, we have prototype in. As soon as you turn this on, you can now start to see these arrows that pop up. What we can do is select it, drag it, and what we want to say is on tap, navigate to frame two. That's what we wanted to do. And then we can change the animation states if we wanted. So what that's now saying is that once this is clicked, it's going to navigate to this page. So if we preview this, I can now click this button and it's going to change to blue. And if I wanted to prototype this back, then I can do that too by doing it the other way. And it's now instantly updated. So now if I click the button, it's just going to change color. And that's it. That's the simplest introduction to Figma. This is an updated version of my previous video from 2023, but with the new UI and some of the new tools and some of the new features that have come out, this one is your best bet. So if you are new to this channel, hi, what's up? I'm Gemma and I'm a senior product designer who share tips about UX for free. And I also have a newsletter called Handover where I send out UX related content every single month. Again, if that's something you're interested in, there's a link in the description below. And that's it. Until next time, bye.